Rob Braun, when three men saw another man brutally beating a woman, they pulled him off and held him down until the police got there. And today, those Good Samaritans were in the spotlight for their actions. Angela Ingram joins us now with how the community said thank you. Hi, Angela. Hi, Cami. They did not do this for recognition, but they say it felt good to look out today and see people cheering for them. They say they are most grateful that the woman who was being attacked fought back and that they were able to help her. In a room full of police officers, three civilians are getting a standing ovation. Jordan Jones, Asa Smith, and Michael Wilkes are humble. Um, I don't consider myself a hero. But they're being recognized at the annual Crime Stoppers breakfast for helping save a woman. I didn't know she was pregnant until we got over there and I got the guy off of her. Um, it was a scary thing. Police say Anthony Smith attacked the woman as she was walking her dog in the East End. She was nine months pregnant at the time. Smith knocked the woman to the ground, punching her several times and trying to rape her, according to police. The Good Samaritans were nearby at the LeBlanc Recreation Center. It seemed like it was a commotion and with the help of our other uh, staff, the women, recognizing that another woman that was maybe 100 feet away from us was screaming. You don't want to see that. No man should be beating on a woman at all. There are good people out there and there are good men out there that do want to help and they are role models. The woman who survived the attack asked us not to use her name, but she wanted to share her thoughts about the men who helped her. I think it's just so special that they are getting the recognition that they deserve. Um, obviously, like I'm so thankful that they were there that day, but I just think it's awesome that like so many people are are feeling the same way about them. Jones, Smith and Wilkes work as teachers assistants and coaches for Cincinnati Public Schools and they're grateful that they could set an example for the children. It felt amazing. Um, again, without the help of my co-workers and other assistants, it, we wouldn't have been able to make it happen. And the men say that there were other people who helped that day as well and that it was a group effort to do the right thing. Cammie, back to you. Good people. All right. Thanks, Angela. Anthony Smith is at the Hamilton County Jail and he's being held on a $2 million bond for felonious assault and $1 million for attempted rape.